so here first question in biology comparable to angiosperms which of the following algae exhibits diplontic life cycle so here options are spirogyra ectocarpus polysiphonia fucus and fucus is the correct answer so we have three types of life cycles named haplontic diplontic and diplohaplontic and this diplontic life cycle is shown by the developed vascular plants and in such plants showing this type of life cycle the dominant phase is photosynthetic phase and so called as diploid sporophyte and here the haploid phase is represented by a short lived and one or a few celled gametophytes so here the example is all gymnosperms and angiosperms and algae like fucus and here the correct answer is the fucus so next it comes to the next question so the next question is identify the sets of diseases in which a infectious and b is non infectious so here the options are pneumonia malaria cancer aids aids rheumatoid arthritis cancer and malaria so here when it comes to this aids and rheumatoid arthritis aids is a sexually transmitted disease whereas rheumatoid arthritis is not a infectious disease it is just the autoimmune disease and that is not infectious and thus it is non infectious and when you comes to the pneumonia and malaria both are the infectious disease through contagious direction and cancer and aids cancer is not an infect sorry cancer and aids both are infectious whereas malaria is also infectious so here when comes to the explanation pneumonia can spread through the airborne droplets as i said they are contagious from cough or sneeze while malaria is transmitted by female anopheles mosquito that carries plasmodium sporozoites and the cancer is uncontrolled growth of cells and it is non contagious and that means it is not passed through the direct contact but it is passed through the genetical disorder and yes when it comes to the rheumatoid arthritis it is an autoimmune disease and it is non infectious so aids is an infectious viral disease whereas hiv can get transmitted through blood and also by sexual contact between males and females through vaginal oral or anal intercourse and uh, here comes the next question among flowers of calotropis tulip sesbania asparagus colchin sweet pea petunia indigo fera mustard soya bean tobacco and groundnut how many plants have corolla with valvate estivation so here valvate estivation we all know what is a valvate estivation is so according to this question you have to see how many of those plants have valvate estivation so valvate estivation is generally present in members of brassicaceae solanaceae liliaceae family so the the members which belong to this family are calotropis tulip asparagus colchin petunia mustard and tobacco so there are seven with valvate estivation so in this valvate estivation tobacco have corolla but in liliaceae tepals have valvate estivation so next comes the fourth question this is a choose the correct statement regarding malaria so here the first statement is malignant malaria is caused by plasmodium vivax and the second statement frequent chills and fever are caused by hemozoin and the third one sporozoites reproduce sexually in hepatocytes gametocytes develop in rbc so here according to this question the frequent chills and fever are caused by hemozoin and gamos gametocytes develop in rbc is the correct one so because malaria is caused by the protozoan parasite plasmodium whereas human malaria is caused by four different species called plasmodium falciparum plasmodium malaria plasmodium bovell and plasmodium vivax so when it comes to the plasmodium falciparum it is a unicellular protozoan parasite of humans and the deadliest species of plasmodium that causes malignant malaria in humans so hemozoin is a disposable product formed from the digestion of blood by plasmodium that brings about chills 
in plasmodium the sexual stages are produced in humans but fertilization takes place in the stomach of mosquito in hepatocytes a sexual reproduction takes place through schizogony whereas the sexual stage that is gametocytes develop in rbc of humans this is the life cycle of a plasmodium and next comes the largest tiger reserve in india the largest tiger reserve valmiki nagarjuna sagar sri sailam periyar nagar hole and the correct answer here is nagarjuna sagar sri sailam it is the largest tiger reserve in india present in guntur andhra pradesh and it is a national park which also comes under project tiger initiated in 1972 to protect tigers from extinction and here are some national parks And next comes the sixth question the given biomolecule is a part of defense system which is responsible for response with a and b labeled as so here the first one is cell mediated response one heavy chain two light chain and next one humoral immune response antigen binding binding site light chain and the third one humoral immune response heavy chain light chain and the next one cell mediated response light chain heavy chain so here the correct option is humoral immune response that is antigen binding site and the light chain b cells are the lymphocytes that play a large role in humoral immune response as opposed to the cell mediated immune response which is gone by the t cells b cells primarily function to make antibodies while t cells help b cells Each antibody has four peptide chains, two small which are light and two heavy which are long. The antibody recognizes the pathogen called as antigen via variable region which is an anti antigen binding site. And next one during meiosis 1 the chromosomes start pairing at at that means at which stage zygotin stage paketin stage diplotin stage leptotin stage and yes they do meiosis at zygotin stage during meiosis pairing of chromosome starts at zygotin this process of pairing is called synapsis or synthesis in which homologous chromosomes come close together and forms pair known as bivalent A proteinaceous network develops between two chromosomes of a pair known as synaptonemal chromosome. And the next question, the common characteristics between tomato and potato will be maximum at the level of their the family, order, division, genus. And the correct option here is family. Tomato is Lycopersicum esculentum and potato is Solanum tuberosum. Both belong to different genus but are members of same family. Thus maximum common characters are observed at the level of family. The first meiotic division during spermatogenesis takes place when primary spermatocytes divide to form secondary spermatocytes, secondary spermatocytes divide to form spermatids, spermatogonia divide to form primary spermatocytes. spermatids to spermatozoa and here the correct option is primary spermatocytes divide to form secondary spermatocytes because spermatogenesis is a highly specialized process of cellular differentiation resulting in the formation of functional spermatozoa and the spermatogenesis begins with a diploid spermatogonium in the seminiferous tubules which divides mitotically to produce two diploid primary spermatocytes The primary spermatocyte then undergoes meiosis 1 to produce two haploid secondary spermatocytes. The haploid secondary spermatocytes undergo meiosis 2 to produce four haploid spermatids. The anaphase promoting complex is activated by M CDK cyclin, G1 CDK cyclin, S CDK cyclin transcription factor. The here correct answer is M CDK cyclin. The cell cycle is controlled by the enzymes like cyclin dependent kinases the cyclin dependent kinases 
phosphorylate amino acids like serine and threonine which initiate or block activities related to cell cycle. In eukaryotes, multiple cyclins are present and each of which acts during a specific checkpoint in cell cycle regulation. Common class of cyclin include G1 phase, G1 or S phase cyclin, S phase, M phase. M phase cyclins form MCDK complexes and drive the cell's entry into mitosis and acts on the anaphase promoting complex. And next question, which of the following statements regarding fertilization is or are correct? The acrosome is filled with hydrolytic enzymes which help in dissolving the membrane of ovum at the time of fertilization. Vertilin member is the first member to be faced by sperms while trying to fuse with the ovum. There must be synchronicity in the release of ovum and entry of sperm for the formation of zygote. The meiotic division of secondary oocyte is concluded with the entry of male gamete. And here the correct options are 1, 3 and 4. During fertilization, for the entry of sperm in the ovum, the acrosome breaks it with the help of digestive enzymes present in it. The acrosome contains hyaluronidase and acrosin enzymes which heat up the zona pellucida and allows the haploid nucleus in the sperm to join with the haploid nucleus of ovum. The outer membrane of the ovum is called zona pellucida and egg can only survive for up to 24 hours. After it's released, while sperm can live in the female reproductive tract for about 3 to 5 days, meeting of sperm with ovum in this duration can increase the chances of fertilization. In oogenesis, oogonium undergoes mitosis and develops into a primary oocyte, which will begin the first meiotic division, but then arrest. It will finish this division as it develops in the follicle, giving rise to a haploid secondary oocyte and a smaller polar body. The secondary oocyte begins the second meiotic division and then arises again and will remain so unless it is fertilized by sperm. If this occurs, a mature ovum and another polar body is produced and this is the oocyte activation. And the next question is genetic variation in a population arises due to recombination only, mutations as well as recombination, reproductive isolation and selection, mutations only. In a population, discontinuous source of genetic variation is mutation which occurs randomly and continuous source of genetic variation is recombination or crossing over which occurs during gamete formation in meiosis. And the next question, the figure shows a section of human ovary. Select the option which gives the correct identification of A, B and C. A is group of primary follicles that gradually matures under the influence of LHS and FSH. LH is nothing but luteinizing hormone and FSH is follicular stimulating hormone. C is the graphene follicle which starts producing a hormone called progesterone. C is a corpus luteum that secretes follicular stimulating hormone. B is a graphene follicle which ruptures during mid of the cycle. And here the correct ones are 1 and 4. Because the corpus luteum, yellow hormone secreting body in the female reproductive system that secretes progesterone which further maintains endometrium, graphene follicle produce a hormone called estrogen by the follicular granulosa cells. In for, if fertilization does not occur, the corpus luteum involutes to form the corpus albicans that is filled with the fibrous tissue. Next comes the 14th question. Which one of the following vectors is used to replace the defective gene in gene therapy? Retrovirus, cosmid, RA plasmid, TI plasmid. And here the correct answer is retrovirus. In gene therapy, genes are inserted into a person's cells and tissues to treat a diseases. Retroviral vector is used to transform a normal gene into an individual or embryo to take over the function of and compensate for the non-functional gene. And next comes the 15th question. It was found that when the same environmental challenge was provided to 
the two sets of organisms who belong to different ancestors and with different evolution patterns evolved similar phenotypic trait to survive better is called natural selection adaptive radiation convergent evolution genetic drift and here the correct answer is convergent evolution the natural selection is a trait that possesses heritable variation and must confer an advantage in the competition for resources is selected naturally adaptive radiation is an evolutionary process giving rise to new species adapted to the new habitats and ways of life the genetic drift is a change in allele frequency in a population due to random selection of genes in the concept of evolution convergent evolution results where although the organism that are not closely related evolve independently having similar traits and showing adaptations to similar environment or ecological niche And next comes the 16th question which of the following statements are correct regarding the process of rna interference rnai has been used to prevent nematode infestation of tobacco plants rnai takes place in all eukaryotic organisms as a method of cellular defense the method involves silencing of specific mrna using a complementary ds dna molecule that binds and prevents the translation of mrna using retrovirus vectors nematode specific genes were introduced into the host plant and here the correct answers are 1 and 2 because rna interference takes place in all the eukaryotic organisms as a method of cellular defense rna interference is a gene silencing method where the mrna of the parasite is destroyed so no protein formation resulting in the death of parasite in transgenic plant So here comes the 17th question. Given below are four statements, each with one or two blanks. Select the option which correctly fills up the blanks. Miller and Urey, while creating probable conditions on the primitive Earth, in the laboratory used a mixture of methane, water, vapor, hydrogen, and information of extinct organisms can be obtained by the help of evidence, which can be very easily isolated from. which type of rocks darwin finches are the representatives of natural selection can be concluded with the introduction of and in which organisms and here comes the answers are sedimentary rock statement d reproductive fitness is the correct one because urey and miller experimentally proved the formation of simple organic compounds from the other simple uh, compounds under specified conditions where they took the methane ammonia hydrogen mixture was taken in ratio of 2h to 2h to 1 along with all these heated products and where passed through a condenser which on condensation yield aqueous and products Fossils can also provide evidence of the evolutionary history of organisms such fossils can be easily isolated from sedimentary rocks Darwin finches are classical example of an adaptive radiation their common ancestor arrived on the Galapagos about 2 million years ago as a time that has passed the Darwin finches have evolved into 15 recognized species differing in body size beak shape song and the feeding behavior nia comes the 18th question the total number of progeny obtained from a dihybrid cross is 1 to 80 in the f2 generation how many of them are recombinant 240 360 480 and 720 in the f2 generation of dihybrid cross normally 16 progeny will be formed 10 of the progeny shows the parental phenotypes and the remaining 6 progeny shows the new phenotypes involving recombination accordingly if in the f2 generation 1280 progenies are formed 800 progeny shows parental phenotypes and 480 progenies are recombinants Here comes the 19th question the common feature that is shared by Funaria dryopteris and ginkgo is presence of archegonia well developed vascular tissues independent gametophyte and independent sporophyte and here the correct correct option is presence of archegonia Funaria is a bryophyte in which female sex organ is archegonia 
vascular tissue is absent and main plant body is independent gametophyte dryopteris is a pteridophyta in which female sex organ is archegonia vascular tissue are developed and main plant body is independent sporophyte ginkgo is a gymnosperm in which female sex organ is archegonia well developed vascular tissue and independent sporophyte occurs And here comes the twentieth question. Read the statements given below and identify the suitable option. Eye of octopus and mammals are homologous. Sweet potato and potato are analogous. Thorns of bougainvillea and tendrils of cucurbita are homologous. And here the first statement is the false and the other two are true. Because homologous organs, organs are those organs which have the same basic structure but different functions. Hence, they have common ancestor origin. Analogous organs are defined as the organs of different animals that are having different structure but perform the same functions. Eyes of octopus and mammals are an example of convergent evolution because they both have different anatomical. structures of eyes but perform the same function and hence having similarity and here comes the 21st question albuminous seed stores their reserve food mainly in endosperm cotyledons hypocotyl perisperm and here the explanation is the albuminous seed retains a part of endosperm as it is not completely used up during embryo development such seeds are also known as endospermic seeds food is stored in endosperm which provides nutrition to embryo during germination example wheat maize barley castor and here comes the 22nd question the ratna himagiri and pusa komal are the varieties of maize wheat and cauliflower respectively rice maize and wheat respectively rice wheat and cowpea respectively wheat rice and cowpea respectively and here the correct answer is rice wheat and cowpea respectively some crop varieties are developed for disease resistance and better yield by the process of hybridization ratna himagiri and pusa komal are the varieties of rice wheat and cowpea respectively and here comes the 23rd question megaspores are produced from the megaspore mother cells after mitotic division formation of a thick wall differentiation and meiotic division and here the correct answer is meiotic division the process of formation of megaspore from megaspore mother cell is called megasporogenesis ovules generally differentiate single megaspore mother cell in the micropylar region it is a large cell with prominent nucleus and dense cytoplasm it undergoes meiotic division to form four megaspore three of which degenerates and only one remains functional and here comes the 24th question a temporary family planning method based on the natural effect of breastfeeding on fertility is due to the higher level of progesterone prolactin estrogen fsh and here the correct answer is prolactin progesterone is a female sex hormone it, it's produced mainly in the ovaries and it helps in maintenance of pregnancy the prolactin causes the breast to grow and make milk during pregnancy and after birth prolactin levels are normally high for pregnant women and new mothers estrogen also helps regulate the menstrual cycle controlling the growth of uterine lining during the first part of cycle and also control secondary sexual characters in female fsh helps control the menstrual cycle and stimulates the growth of eggs in the ovary and here comes the 25th question compensation point means no photosynthesis beginning of photosynthesis equal rate of photosynthesis and respiration excess of respiration to compensate o2 production and here the correct answer is equal rate of photosynthesis and respiration when the rate of photosynthesis that is process of converting solar energy into chemical energy is same as that of respiration that is utilization of the stored energy it is referred to as compensation point and here comes the 26th question removal of ringwood of tissue outside the vascular cambium from the tree trunk kills it because water cannot move up food does not travel down and root becomes stout shoot becomes stout annual rings are not produced here the correct answer is food does not travel down and root becomes stout and here both in intrafascicular and interfascicular cambium joins together and forms a cambium ring the periclineal division of vascular cambium ring forms secondary phloem and and 
called secondary xylem the primary phloem is crushed to death known as obliteration primary xylem being dead and lignified replaced in the pith region removal of ringwood outside the vascular cambium kills the tree because the phloem gets removed and the food synthesized in the leaves does not move to different parts of the plants and here comes the 27th question given below are the four methods and their modes of action in achieving contraception select suitable match for the options given below condom cubectomy copper tea the pill prevents fixing of embryo prevents deposition of sperm in the female tract prevents ovulation ovum does not reach towards the fertilization site and here the correct answer is condom it prevents the deposition of sperm in female tract tubectomy it ovum does not reach towards fertilization site copper tea it prevents the fixing of embryo the pill it prevents the ovulation here condom is a rubber sheath which prevents pregnancy by acting as a barrier preventing semen from entering the vagina and tubectomy is a surgical process that blocks the fallopian tubes thereby preventing the egg released by the ovum to meet the sperm the copper intrauterine device is a small t-shaped plastic and copper device which consistently releases a small amount of copper into the uterus and thus prevents implantation the hormonal methods of birth control prevents eggs from be- being released from the ovaries thickens cervical mucus to prevent sperm from entering the uterus and makes lining of the uterus thin to prevent implantation and here comes 28th question which of the following is not a single flower china rose petunia sunflower periwinkle and here the correct answer is sunflower sunflower belongs to the asteraceae or compositae family is a very large and widespread family of flowering plants sunflower is not a single flower instead it is made up of multiple simpler flowers and 29th question match the column 1 with column 2 and select the correct option from the codes given below the wbc cardiac disc adipose tissue protection need support neurons communication junction diabetes is neuroglia stored fats and here wbc is for diabetes is adipose tissue it stores the fat communication junctions cardiac disc it is present at cardiac discs and the neuroglia it protects and support neurons white blood cells circulate into blood stream but they can cross the blood capillary to reach infected tissues this process is called as diapedesis adipose tissue is composed of loose collection of specialized cells called adipocytes which are embedded in collagen fibers its main function is storage of lipids communicating junctions are channel that allow passage of small molecules and ions between two cells such junctions support synchronized contraction of cardiac tissue neuroglia are cells that support and protect neurons and here comes the 30th question the term gycocalyx is used for a layer present between cell wall and membrane of bacteria cell wall of bacteria bacterial cell glycogenate to possesses n glycosylated proteins a layer surrounding the cell wall of bacteria and here the correct answer is a layer surrounding the cell wall of bacteria bacteria is surrounded by three layered envelope the outermost one is glycocalyx followed by the cell wall and then by the plasma membrane The glycocalyx is the outermost layer of envelope it differs in composition of thickness among different bacteria. And here comes the 31st question. Which of the following statements is correct? Sporopollenin can be degraded by enzymes. Sporopollenin is made up of inorganic materials. Sporopollenin can withstand high temperatures as well as strong acids and alkalis. Sporopollenin can withstand high temperatures but not strong acids. Here the sporopollenin is present in exine of cell wall. It is one of the most resistant biological material known. It can withstand with high temperatures and strong acids and alkali. No enzyme that degrades sporopollenin is far, so far known. Pollen grain are well preserved as fossils because of the presence of sporopollenin. And here comes the 32nd question given below is a diagrammatic sketch of a connective tissue identify the correct statement in relation to it it possesses a hard and a non flexible matrix matrix is filled with yellow elastin fiber specialized cells related to this tissue are osteocytes repair capabilities are high 
and here 1 3 and 4 are the correct answers bone matrix is a composite material consisting of organic and inorganic components the organic matrix makes up 20 percent of the wet weight of bone and is comprised primarily of collagen the presence of more amount of organic uh, salts in the matrix of bone makes it non-flexible here comes the 33rd question in mango and coconut the fruit is known as a droop they develop from the monocarpillary superior ovary and are one seeded they identify the edible part of these two fruits mesocarp and endocarp respectively mesocarp in both mesocarp and endosperm respectively mesocarp and epicarp respectively so here they are mesocarp and endosperm in mango the edible part is mesocarp which forms the fleshy and juicy part in coconut mesocarp becomes fibrous and is edible part is endosperm which is liquid initially but later on maturity becomes solid and cellular here comes the 34th question which statement is wrong partial pressure of co2 is higher in the air inside the lungs Partial pressure of O2 is higher in the air inside the lungs. Partial pressure of O2 is lower inside the venous blood than in the air in the lung. Partial pressure of CO2 is higher inside the venous blood than in air. Here the correct answer is partial pressure of CO2 is higher in the air inside the lungs. The partial pressure of O2 in the atmospheric air is 158 millimeters of mercury and that of CO2 is 0.3 millimeters of mercury. Partial pressure of oxygen in alveolar air is 100 millimeters of mercury and it is only of 40 millimeters of mercury in the arterial capillaries of lungs. Therefore, oxygen from the alveolar air rapidly diffuses due to its higher PO2 into the blood capillaries. Hence, partial pressure of CO2 is lower in the air inside the lungs. And here comes the 35th question. Syngamy can occur outside the body of the organism in mosses, algae, fawn, conifers. Here the correct answer is algae. Fusion of male and female gamete is called as syngamy. External fertilization is present in lower plants and occurs in water. It occurs in algae where both male and female gametes are released in water where they come in contact and undergo syngamy. Here comes the 36th question. The sectional view of alveoli with the pulmonary capillary is shown below. Identify the right match in context to the options given below. The first one is basement membrane and the second one is endothelium. As the basement membrane is a sheet of proteins and other substances to which epithelial cells adhere and that forms a barrier between tissues. The squamous epithelium alveoli is lined by the simple squamous epithelium which is thin and facilitate the process of diffusion of oxygen and CO2. The endothelial cells form a one cell thick walled cell layer called endothelium that lines all of our blood vessels. Here comes the 37th question. In which of the following sets of three items each belong to the category mentioned against them? Lysine, glycine, thiamine are amino acids. Myosin, oxytocin, gastrin, hormones. Renin, helicase, hyaluridinase are enzymes. Optic nerve, oculomotor, vagus are sensory nerves. Here, renin, helicase and hyaluridinase all are enzymes. As the thiamine is not an amino acid, myosin not a hormone, oculomotor is motor and vagus is a mixed nerve. Those options are wrong and the renin, helicase and hyaluridinase are enzymes is the option correct one. And here comes the 38th question. Which one leads to accumulation of a dark colored amorphous substance called that is highly resistant to microbial action and undergoes decomposition at an extremely slow rate. Here the answer is humification and humus. Humification leads to the accumulation of dark colored amorphous substance called humus that is highly resistant to microbial action and undergoes decomposition at an extremely slow rate. Being colloidal in nature, it serves as a reservoir of nutrients. The humus is further degraded by some microbes and release of inorganic nutrients occur by the process known as mineralization. Here comes the 39th question. 
GnRH and a hypothalamic hormone needed in reproduction acts on anterior pituitary gland and stimulates secretion of LH and oxytocin, anterior pituitary gland and stimulates secretion of LH and FSH, posterior pituitary gland and stimulates secretion of oxytocin and FSH, posterior pituitary gland and stimulates secretion of LH and relaxin. Here, the correct option is anterior pituitary gland and stimulates secretion of LH and FSH. The hypothalamus secretes G GnRH which stimulate anterior pituitary gland for the secretion of gonadotropins. GnRH is a releasing hormone responsible for the release of follicular stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone from the anterior pituitary. GnRH is a tropic peptide hormone synthesized and released from GnRH neurons within the hypothalamus. Question number 40. Here, the read the following statements with respect of dicot stem and select the right choice. The epidermis is covered with a thick layer of cuticle. The cells of endodermis are rich in starch grains. The pericycle is present on the inner side of endodermis and above the phloem in the form of semilunar patches of sclera and chyma. The vascular bundles are arranged in a ring. Here the correct options are 2, 3 and 4. In the dicot stem, the epidermis is covered with a thin layer of cuticle with few trichomes except for option 1. All other options are characteristics of dicot stem. Here comes the 41 question. The need of calcium in human body can be fulfilled by either absorption of calcium from the digested food or by reabsorption of calcium from renal tubules which is accompanied by PTH, thymosin, mineral corticoids, thyrocalcitonin. Here the correct one is PTH. Thymosin is produced by the thymus gland and trigger the creation of T cells which are used by the immune system to fight disease. Mineral corticoids are, the, are a class of steroid hormones that regulate salt and water balances and also help in promoting sodium and potassium transport. Thyrocalcitonin reduces the blood calcium level by increasing the absorption of calcium in the bone and reducing the absorption of calcium in the kidneys and intestine. Here comes the 42nd question. Which organization publishes the red data book? IUCN, UNEP, WWF, GEF. And here the correct answer is IUCN. IUCN is nothing but the International Union of Conversation of Nature and Natural Resources. And it had its headquarters is in Morgis, Switzerland, and it publishes the red data book which keep the record of extinct and threatened species. Here comes a 43rd question. Select the answer which correctly matches the endocrine gland or cells with the hormone it secretes and functions associated with it. First one beta cells. The hormone is glucagon, the function is diabetes mellitus. Second one, posterior lobe of pituitary. Hormone is vasopressin and the function is stimulate reabsorption of water and minerals. And the third one, adrenal cortex. Its hormone is epinephrine and its function is to deal with the emergency situation. And third, fourth one, anterior lobe of pituitary gland. Its hormone is erythropoietin and its function is to control pigment formed in the skin. Here the correct answer is posterior lobe of pituitary. Which hormone is vasopressin? And its function is to stimulate reabsorption of water and minerals. Here beta cells of pancreas secrete insulin, lack of which results in diabetes mellitus. Adrenal medulla secretes epinephrine, which helps body to deal with any emergency situation. Intermediate lobe of pituitary gland secrete MSH that controls pigmentation. Here comes the 44 question which may move across the membrane by process of simple diffusion along the concentration gradient from higher concentration to lower concentration. The first option is polar molecules, second one protein, third one neutral solutes, fourth one non-polar molecules. And here the correct option is neutral solutes. The cell membrane is selectively permeable to some molecules on either side Hydrophobic lipids do not allow movement of water and charged ions across the membrane. Many molecules can move across the membrane by process of simple diffusion along the concentration gradient. And here comes the 45th question. The saddle joint is present between dash and hinge joint is present between dash. The carpal and metacarpal of thumb, knee joint, 
టార్సెల్ బిట్వీన్ రేడియస్ అండ్ అల్నా కార్పల్ అండ్ మెటాకార్పల్ ఆఫ్ థమ్ షోల్డర్ జాయింట్ హిప్ జాయింట్ అండ్ జస్ట్ హియర్ ద ఆన్సర్స్ ఈజ్ ద సాడిల్ జాయింట్ ఈస్ ప్రెజెంట్ బిట్వీన్ కార్పల్ అండ్ మెటాకార్పల్ ఆఫ్ థమ్ అండ్ హిన్ జాయింట్ ఈస్ ప్రెజెంట్ బిట్వీన్ నీ జాయింట్ అ సాడిల్ జాయింట్ ఈజ్ అ సైనోవియల్ జాయింట్ వేర్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద బోన్స్ ఫార్మింగ్ ద జాయింట్ ఈ షేప్ లైక్ అ సాడిల్ విత్ అదర్ బోన్ రెస్టింగ్ ఆన్ ఇట్ లైక్ అ రైడర్ ఆన్ అ హార్స్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ కార్పో మెటాకార్పల్ జాయింట్ ఆఫ్ థమ్ హిన్ జాయింట్ ఈజ్ అ జాయింట్ బిట్వీన్ టూ బోన్ సచ్ దట్ ఇట్ ఎలౌస్ మూమెంట్ అలాంగ్ వన్ యాక్సిస్ ఓన్లీ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ యాంకిల్ ఎల్బో నీ అండ్ ఇంటర్ఫెలెన్జిల్ జాయింట్స్ పైవర్ జాయింట్ ఈస్ ఫౌండ్ బిట్వీన్ రేడియస్ అండ్ అల్నా బాల్ అండ్ సాకెట్ జాయింట్ ఈస్ ఫౌండ్ ఇన్ షోల్డర్ జాయింట్ వెరస్ గ్లైడింగ్ జాయింట్స్ ఆర్ ఫౌండ్